breaking news. We are staying on top of breaking news out of Charlotte. And within the last hour, first responders say they found a body, a second victim at the site of today's house explosion. A man was pulled from the rubble earlier in the day. That person still hospitalized tonight with serious injuries. A lot going on here. This all playing out in the Ballantyne community of South Charlotte. The explosion completely leveled one home and damaged others nearby. Our Steve King joins us where authorities just gave an update. Steve, what else have you found? out. Well, we have found out that that woman, one woman was found dead around nine o'clock tonight after investigators spent the day searching the rubble you see behind me for at least seven hours. Now they found a man pretty soon after this all began when the explosion happened because that man was able to call 911 and point rescuers to his exact location the whole time. He was telling them that there was a woman in the house with him when the house blew up and after about seven hours, rescuers were able to find her and sadly she was dead. Her family has been notified, but her identity has not been released. Now, rescuers held out hope the whole time that she'd be alive during the exhausting search, which ended up sending a firefighter to the hospital for dehydration. Six other firefighters were treated at the scene of the search effort. Everybody is expected to be okay. The blast also damaged nearby homes and neighbors say that it caused insulation to rain from the sky after the explosion. We spoke with some neighbors earlier tonight. Around two on Tuesday, chaos erupts in the Ballantyne neighborhood. I had no idea what it was because it really felt like a bomb and you don't expect a bomb in suburban Charlotte. And the house really shook. Then the word spread to neighbors who were not home at the time. A bunch of my friends were like, well, like, oh my, like, like a couple hours ago, like, did your house shake or like, like what happened? After Sarah found out, she knew she had to do something. So she wanted to bring her extra Girl Scout cookies and some water to the rescue crews sifting through the rubble. Sarah said, hey, let's give away the extra Girl Scout cookies that we have left over because um, they certainly are going to need it with all the work that they've got left to do and the work that they've already done. You know, we're a community, you know, and do what we can. The Harrises say Tuesday was very eye-opening. You just don't expect something like this and um, anywhere, but much less when it happens a thousand feet from your home. It just goes to show that anything can happen at any time. The cause of the explosion is unknown, but I did speak with a neighbor earlier tonight and she said something very noteworthy. She said that she smelled gas while walking, taking her daily walk in front of this home, both on Sunday and on Monday. She said she walked by the home earlier today before this happened and didn't smell gas. But again, it's very important to note the cause of this explosion is unknown at this time. Investigators say that nobody else in the neighborhood is in any danger right now. Reporting live in Charlotte, Steve King, WXII 12 News. All right, thank you so much, Steve. As we continue to stay on top of this developing story, download our free WXI 12 News mobile app. We will send you push alerts with breaking details on the biggest stories happening in our community.